my hair is a state and I have a reason for that. It is because I've been out all day today basically. Hey subbies, how you all doing? Today I have a haul for you um, and I've got big news at the end but I'll try and remember. Um, as you can tell my hair is scruffy as. I've been out this morning to meet my dad at Westside at 10 o'clock then I went to the job centre for my appointment and then I went to Morrison's and then I went came home then I went to my grandma and granddad's because the door were locked because my mum was summoning my brother then came back home and I just did some tidying up or quite a bit actually and now I'm doing a haul so that's just my day in one thing so no further ado let's get started with haul up today my dad this morning as I said and he gave me and my brother our present for Easter which is £10 in which is in pounds, so I had about 20 pounds. 20, I actually had 21 pounds in my purse, which was unreal, it was a uh, heavy. Um, so I went to Pound World, um, took my bags, and this is very, very, very heavy. I took this really cute, you've seen it on before, but I haven't focused it properly. My daisy bag, I use this all the time for stuff which, when I know I'm getting water and stuff which is heavy, I always get it. So, and today I have a reason to be honest with you, for saying how much things are, because you'll see. So the first thing I got, well, I didn't get it in tickle order, but it's actually on the first step anyway. I got a luxury massage sponge for my back, because my back is very, like, in the bath, if you've got a back scrubber, it's best, because then you can clean your back. So I just got a, a back scrubber. Luxury massage sponge, and it's a hundred, no, long candle, it says. Use my long candle for those hard to reach places. These are good for people that can't bend down, like to do the feet and everything. But I'm going to do my back because my back needs a wash. And uh, I've thought been needing one of these for a while and just saw them. They're actually cheaper, some of them are cheaper. This was actually, this was a pound. I'm just going to see it out. Yeah, a pound for the luxury sponge. And then, because it is my dad's money and it is a present from him to get like an Easter egg for him, from him to me which I bought and chocolate M&M egg because I love M&M's in chocolate it comes with a egg and also a packet of M&M's this was a pound they do have big um, big eggs for like three pound to five pound in pound world now but I got a chocolate M&M egg for a pound and this is the box and yeah it comes with a hollow milk chocolate egg with a fun size bag of chocolate M&M's so that's an Easter egg for my dad I got myself some brunch bars because I've had these in ages. Last time I had these was probably last year. I don't know. I don't really look back in my house, but um, brunch bars, chocolate chip ones. I love these. These are gorgeous, and they're just a nice snack when you're out or when just a nice snack during the day. And they're great for a pound. And you get six bars. Yeah. I then got some paper pads. You've seen me get these before. I just on today, they're in stock. Last time I wasn't, so I just got some body foam paper pads for a pound. Got three bottles of water for a pound, but the tools today are horrible because they, um, the they wasn't going through in the office, and I'm sorry for the wince on my finger. I've had a splinter in it yesterday. Um, it was one of these long pieces of wood, um, like it's obviously a splinter piece of wood, but it was sticking out like just like a think of a porcupine. Um, the pines on it um, it's like one of them and I pulled it out but it's hurting like heck today so I think there's some left in or it just needs to heal but I don't know but yeah I got the Highland Spring three bottles of water for a pound and um, it ended up going in as £1.20 so I spent another 20p which um, I corrected her and she took it off because it wasn't working properly three for a pound on water because I've run out and then the last thing which I'm quite chuffed about I did the Pound World Plus bit today. I got a family size bottle of shampoo. This was £1.50. This is why I say the prices for Pound World and I always all the time now because I bought this and this would have been amazing for a pound. But I normally get the Alberto Bell's um, normal bottles, like the circular 350 milliliter bottles for a pound. But this one was 150 for 750 mils, so that's double it for 150. I thought it was a great price. Um, it's this huge bottle, and it says sun-kissed raspberry for normal or dry hair, 
moisturising shampoo. I did look if they had any conditioner, but they didn't. And um, they also had the green one, which I don't know what the green one is. I forgot, I think it's apple. But it's this massive bottle. And when I saw this, I was like, should I get it, should I not? But I ended up buying it in the end because, actually, I saw it and thought, I'm getting that. I looked, I saw it, and then I looked to see if there's any conditioner ones, but there wasn't. I um, not really need conditioner, I just need shampoo. So I've got the Alberto one, which I'm really, really pleased about. And it's sealed and everything, like the top is sealed, but well, it was. Sure, it was. Yes, the seal is not on anymore. That's quite annoying. It smells amazing. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And this will last me for ages. Um, so that means I do not have to buy any shampoo for ages and I already have some so yeah a massive bottle of the balsam shampoo it's really weird me buying stuff like Palmworld plus stuff from Palmworld but can't leave an offer like that it's 750ml yes and then I went after so I spent £6.50 in total and after I went to the job centre to go sign on again and that has triggered the payment so I'll tell you after the video what the big news um, I went to Morrison's just because I had some money left and I didn't spend it all, I only spent £4, one, no £2.80 but I had this bar shop back on me this morning um, I just wanted to get some chocolate or something but they've moved the chocolate out of the freezer while and there's kids around and that's supposed to be that hard term because they all because I, because, like, guys we need is like a small area, so there's people that know me and some YouTube and take the mic so take the mic me whenever so it's in the Morrison, so I've always the top aisle. But I got some, in the end, some wheat crunches, six pack for a pound. These are crispy bacon, I've already had three packets, so these are so nice. I also bought these chocolate fingers for a pound because I love like melting the chocolate and mm, they're gorgeous. So it says more to share when really in reality there's not there's only 138 grams and I got these from Morrison's but the other day I got them from Sainsbury's they're over a pound. Then because uh, um I was going to get so again I went to the beds I got some digestive biscuits because that's for some hobnob summer. Or some rich tea or some yeah, raspberry rich tea biscuits. But my colleague came down with digestive and then I ate them and I got absolutely addicted to them. So they had these two for ATP, which the Morrison's own digestive biscuits, or they had the digestives by McVitie biscuits for one pound like twenty. Um which is probably the same size as so I just got some M Morrison's on digestive biscuits because basically I love them, they're exact same as the ones as McVitie's ones but they're just a different brand so I've got the McVitie's no the Morrison's digestive biscuits two for 80p or it was like 50p something like that yeah got them because they're gorgeous and that was it that was the haul um I've got quite a few things to say actually um I spent £2.18 in total uh they were 45p each for the crisps so let me just post it away and I'll tell you the big news. See you in a That sounds like Lucy. Basically. Um, cause I'm getting paid Monday, next week is going to be a lot of hauls. Um, I'm just going to roll this down, feel very... It's good to cut my head off now. One minute. There we go. Cos I'm getting paid on Monday. Um, basically, I'm going to be going shopping for the week next week. I'm going to be going to. I don't know, actually. Next week is just going to be a big week of me shopping. I'm not going to spend all because it's got to last two weeks. But the money I will have, I'm going to be going shopping like that week. Monday I'm going shopping because I need to get my dad something for Easter and I'm getting him so he knows too. But um, I'll be going out shopping Monday and I'm going to be going to Leeds next week as well. So I'm really excited for that. Um, because that means I can get new clothes from Primark when I'm going to Leeds. I'm going to Leeds with my dad, I think. Yeah, we hopefully to go to Leeds next week, sometime next week. Um, going to Leeds with my dad, and basically I will be getting clothes, all things in the fall, like, like just clothes is a big, big, 
big thing I need at the moment. My wardrobe is just so last year basically. I have nothing that's updated. This is probably on top that I like. Um, also the minimal top and the other tops I just don't use. I do use obviously like the palm spring ones and everything. This is my favourite top. This is it's like stropless, stro uh, stropless, strapless, and it's just really nice. And basically, I just need to update my wardrobe into things which are now, which are trending now, such as I don't know, like there's Disney that's trending in Harry Potter. But when I get them, that is just going to be a big haul. I will have big hauls coming next week. Basically, someone asked me to do a haul of the month, which I'm thinking about doing. Basically, keeping everything till the end of the month in like one bag and then doing a massive haul and keeping the receipts in the bag. That is quite a good idea actually because then it's going to be like an, maybe an hour long video of what I've got or less. But I just thought I'd tell you that next week I'm going shopping and I'll have, I don't know if to do, se tell me if you want separate hauls of like going to guys and going to Pound World and going to Asda and other places or if you want a big haul at the end of the week of guys late leads and just all the hauls together at the end of the week so it's a big haul so it's more surprising to tell me which one you want separate hauls or a big one a big massive haul at the end of the week anyway i just want to tell you that because someone asked me to do that and i'm so excited to go shopping next week because this is the first time i'll have the money to myself and um, pay 25 pound and then the rest of it's mine um i will be getting credit i will be getting giving my dad an easter egg so I don't know how much I've left, but that is just private at the moment. So I will have some money which I'll be shopping with because, as you know, as I said, I need to update my wardrobe. Um, I need to get a new bag because that, the rucksack, the floral one, the one that I used for guys' school and college, it's just, it's ruined. Um, it's, it's only lost legs basically, the tie's gone some of the buttons are undone but I just need a new bag so I just want to tell you that I'm buzzing to go stuff next week and see you all on Tuesday with a brand new video um, please tell me below if you want separate hauls or um, a full haul in the week because that will tell me if I'm doing a haul on Tuesday um, or whatever because I just do not know what to do your choice basically I keep saying basically and um, it's because I'm trying to think of top of my head. I'm going to, just for if you want a haul, big haul or a small haul, I will add up the total of how many people have said haul, big haul and small haul. And whoever the biggest total wins. So if it's 20, of, 20 people have said small haul and 30 have said big haul, I will do a big fat haul in the week of everything I've got. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I love you all guys and see you on Tuesday. Um, I might have a video on Tuesday pre-recorded, but I hopefully won't. Like, subscribe, comment below. I love you guys. Make yourself smile. Bye. One more thing. I do not know if I put this in my last video or if you realised. I'm sure I took the clip out, but if I didn't, if I did, then you'll see now. If I didn't, you'll see again. Basically, I've had my echo, as you can tell, which you can kind of tell. My hair is like out here, now it's here. I've had two inches off, so when I put my hair down, which I'm doing now, it looks a lot better. It is levelled out. My friend Heather, who watches my videos, hi Heather. Um, not Heather that I used to do videos with, another Heather. Um, she did my hair for me and I've had two inches off. And you probably cannot tell, it's so annoying. It's because my hair, my camera is looking straight at me. So basically you will not be able to see the length but if I just ow my hip clicked but it didn't hurt look like I'm just gonna try there you go so it's like down here now it's like up here as you can tell it's very leveled off I didn't know what you can see it's very leveled off I'm gonna grow it out until July or June then I'm gonna cut it off again I'm just I'm growing out the blonde basically now so when the blonde's cut off, all grown out grown out I can then get it all cut off and then go back to brown but yeah, I've had my hair cut. I'm more confident about wearing my hair down because there's a lot less hair to, like in the way. It's a lot shorter than it was before. Um, the most I've had off before two inches was only one inch. But when she said you need more than an inch off, I was like, okay, I'll just get two inches off then. And it just feels so nice and fresh. It doesn't go into one point, which it did do. And it doesn't 
it doesn't feel bitty. It does, but that's a split end, so, but it just feels really nice and levels off the bottom. So I just thought I'd show you that because my hair is now cut, so it's a lot easier to wash, a lot easier to dry, and a lot easier to have down and have up. So yeah, just thought I'd tell you that, so bye!